what's up everyone welcome back to my channel or if you're new here i'm jess i'm from new jersey i do a lot of lifestyle content vlogs travel all that kind of stuff and this is going to be another new jersey weekend in my life it's going to be more of a long weekend vibe it's easter weekend today's thursday it's supposed to be really warm today but kind of cloudy so it's supposed to get up to 80 degrees which is pretty crazy it's pretty hot for april in new jersey so i'm gonna actually meet up with my cousin we're gonna go on a hike the ramapo reservation it's in north jersey I haven't been there in a minute but it's really nice and then I'll probably get some work done later. But before we get into the hike, I want to show you guys a few things that I just got from Merit Beauty. So I'm going to be trying out some new Merit Beauty products. So the first product that I'm going to be trying out is the Shade Slick Jelly. They just released their new Shade Slick Jelly Collection. They have four different shades. I'm going to be trying the shade Chate, which is a sheer neutral color. It's such a beautiful color. I'm really excited to try it. I'm just going to go in and apply this to my lips. Very moisturizing. I love a good lip oil. Amazing. I absolutely love their lip oils and that's so exciting that they just released four new shades that adds a really nice translucent color to the lips. It's a cushiony formula, great for all day wear. I love keeping these in my purse just to always have on hand because repeated use of them definitely helps keep your lips smooth and supple. They use plant-derived squalene oil and they are also made with quinoa seed oil. The Mare Beauty Shade Slick Jelly, 10 out of 10. My lips feel amazing right now and I love how they have a subtle pinky color on them. Definitely recommend this. And then another product that I'm going to be showing today is the Mare Beauty Flush Balm. I have tried this before in the shade Beverly Hills, but today I'm going to be showing the shade Cheeky. First of all, I love the packaging. I think it always looks so sleek and so cute. Cheeky is a cool pink color. Here's the color Cheeky on my hand. This just feels like a dream. It's a very creamy formula. It blends into the skin nicely. It's a nice cream tint that just melts into the skin. And now that we're getting into the warmer season, I just love a nice little sun-kissed look. I'm gonna give this a try right now. Tap this right onto my cheeks. In just a few taps, you already notice a great amount of pigment. I'm gonna start with that. And I'm just gonna lightly tap in with my finger. I really like this color. I feel like it adds such a nice and natural flush. I also love the Beverly Hills color, which is more peachy. This more pink color is cheeky, and then this soft peach color is Beverly Hills. They're both really beautiful. And those are just two of the many shades they offer in the flush balm. It has a very nice blendable consistency, as you can tell. You can really blend it in nicely and build it up to how much pigment you want. They also just feel so soft. Now my hands feel very supple. That looks beautiful. It feels really nice and lightweight on the skin. And I do like how the packaging is made with 43% recycled plastics. I absolutely love this blush. I see why these have been going by viral lately because they are amazing. Really into this cheeky color. They have a few newer colors as well on their website that you guys can check out and shop. Loving and obsessed with these shades like jellies and the flush balm. Perfect for just a subtle pop of color and they're really moisturizing. If you guys are interested in shopping any of Merit Beauty's products, including their new shades like jellies, you can shop using my link down in the description box below. Merit Beauty offers free shipping on all orders over $40 and with your first order, they'll ship it in there signature bag. I absolutely love this bag. I always use it to transport my makeup and our skincare products. It really holds a lot. That is it for the Merit Beauty portion of this vlog. Don't forget to check out my link in the description box to check out these products for yourself. back from hiking and just walking around spending some time with my cousin so that was really nice it's really hot out right now we walked around we got pliables got some cookies from the cookie connect it's 
It's the next morning now. We did a lot of cooking last night. I didn't really vlog it. I was trying to do it quick, but we made burrito bowls because it was National Burrito Day. Or we made burritos, but it's the next morning now. And welcome to the hair cutting portion of this vlog. I just showered, brushed it through, and I have my parts all ready to go. Usually like every two months or so, I like to go in and just trim mainly just the front sections of my hair myself because I don't really feel like I need to go back to the salon every two months to get my bangs trimmed. And I feel like I can do it myself at home because I've done it a few times now but I do like to get my hair professionally cut at least once a year. Here are where my bangs are at right now. I usually like when the shortest piece is around my lip area. I do maybe like an inch off and then I'll just gradually angle it down so that it balances it out. I also kind of want to take off an inch or two from the bottom. I'm going to try my best to film it so that you guys can kind of see what I'm doing but I'm not a professional so don't take this as advice for hair cutting. This is just what I do. It's what works for me. If you're interested or curious to see how I do it every once in a while at home, then this is it. I like to section off the bangs first, and I like to be very gradual with it. And this is usually when I start to feel a little nervous about it. Cut the rest of it dry. I just feel like my hair is very fragile when it's wet. I just dried my hair. Like I can just tell I really need to cut off like at least an inch or two from my hair. It's easier to cut it dry.
it's like you can't even really notice, but I can definitely feel a difference. I really didn't cut too much off, so it's not even that noticeable, but it just feels a lot healthier. Just trimming off those ends, but I do feel like maybe in a few months or right before the summer starts, I would even consider getting like a real haircut, like cutting off maybe three inches or something. This is just kind of how it came out. I had my boyfriend check it and he said it looked even in the back, so I think I'm good there. I feel like I have the most split ends in the front sections here. Regularly trimming those really helps keep my hair just looking a lot healthier. Yeah, that is it for the hair cutting portion of this vlog. Don't necessarily take this as advice, it's just kind of for fun, something I like to do myself at home every once in a while. We're gonna get back into the regularly scheduled programming for the vlog. I'm gonna get some work done today my part-time job. I do the social media for a local business. Pop into there as well, go on location. It's a little after 7.30 now. I just finished work for the day. Finished a bit late because I started kind of late. We're just gonna have some dinner now. I know we have leftovers from yesterday and maybe we'll take a walk because we never got a walk in today. It's Saturday morning now. We're gonna have ourselves a little spring New Jersey day. So I think we're gonna check out some arboretums. I just did my hair. I just put some curls in it and brushed through them. I always like to brush through them because it gives it a bouncier look. Filmed it for a little TikTok. We'll see if I end up putting that together. But you could follow my TikTok at Lifestyle Jessica. I have all my socials linked down below if you guys want to check those out as well for more of an everyday look into my life and things I'm doing in New Jersey. made it to the first arboretum of the day and I have no idea how to pronounce it so I'm gonna put the name of it on the screen here. It's free to enter and walk around the grounds so we're just gonna walk around. It's so pretty. Some frogs. The garden is starting to come into bloom and it's so pretty. This place is just pretty everywhere you walk. I was just trying to look up how to pronounce this place properly and I think it might be Freelinghausen or Freelinghusen, one of those, but it's that Arboretum in Morristown. Freelinghusen? Freelinghausen. I don't know why I'm really struggling to pronounce the name of this place. There's gardens spread out all throughout. There's also some walking trails, lots of open grass. We just drove to downtown Morristown to get pliables, but it ended up being such a nice day. We really enjoyed walking around that arboretum, and we're gonna get pliables now and then go to another arboretum, the Reeves Reed Arboretum, which is supposed to have a lot of really beautiful daffodils. This place is beautiful. Definitely recommend coming to see all the daffodils here. There are so many. Stop three of the day. <laughs> We're back home now and we had a really nice day looking at those arboretums and then we went to the swamp refuge after and walked around there. I just changed into comfy clothes and I'm gonna do a little cooking. I'm gonna make some pistachio pesto pasta with burrata and then we're gonna also make ricotta toast. So I'm very excited because I'm pretty hungry. <laughs> I think to 
today is gonna be a lot of cooking content. Try to get some footage. I'm planning on making a lemon cake and I don't think I've ever baked a cake from scratch. Hopefully that comes out good. morning now and I think I'm just gonna end off the vlog here. We had a really nice Easter yesterday. I really just did a lot of cooking so I wasn't really chatting much with the vlog but I hope you guys all enjoyed. This vlog was kind of a mixture of a lot of different things but subscribe for more vlogs, New Jersey content. The warm weather is here so I'll definitely be getting outside more and exploring New Jersey more. Stay tuned for all of that and I hope to see you all in the next video.